Hello everyone, this is Karthik Salvaraj and in this video 24 of Mule USB tutorials we will be seeing about Mule expression language and I have decided to deliver this as a multiple part video so this would be the part 1 so let me move to the next slide so a little bit introduction about Mule expression language it was introduced as a part of Mule version 3.3.0 but prior to this version expressions were there in Mule but the syntax varied according to the evaluators. So as there was a variation in this syntax, so it was a time consuming job to learn about the syntax to be used for each evaluators. So to break down this complexity, Mule expression language was introduced. And Mule expression language implements a single set of syntax rules and it doesn't vary depending upon the evaluators. So this slide we will be seeing about a difference between expression language and a scripting language. So expression language is similar to a scripting language but it is not exact same. So if there is going to be a, a operation like uh, to get some value or to set some value or to perform some operations on a data then expression language would be the best bet. On the other hand if you want to do some complex operations or if it involves uh, writing a few lines of code then having a scripting language would be the best fit so now let's go on to the demo so I, I have uh, a few more slides as well but I will be explaining that uh, in the demo and I will share this slide in the description session as well so you can have a look at the slides as well so now moving on to the demo so here we have a uh, HTTP input endpoint so which is listening to 8082 and the URI is MEL so I have used uh, two variables so one is the this is a, a flow variable okay so this is, a, this is a normal flow variable so the name of this variable is name flow var and I have set a value as Karthik. Next I have a session variable. So the name of this variable's name session var and I have set this value as Selvaraj. Then I have uh, two loggers. So one will print my uh, first name which I have set in this flow variable flow name flow var and the next one we can set print uh, the name which is stored in this variable called name session where so if you if you see if if you want to set some value I'll just delete this uh, if you can see the list of values that you can set by just using control space it will just provide you the list of values so if I click message again you can press dot it will give the values that again in turn you can set or uh, get values from so using this method you can just come to know about the values that you can get using mule expression language so now I will revert back I will just set the name so the flow variable contains the name as Karthik, the session variable contains the name as Selvaraj. Okay. So now I will what I will do is I will run this. So my expectation is uh, the first logger should print Karthik, the next logger should print Selvaraj. Let's deploy. So now just let us uh, put a get met, uh, request in the local host 8082 and the URI is MEL so it's done so if you go to the console you can see that uh, we have got uh, the, uh, both the names printed over here so now what we will do is instead of giving it as session variable dot the name of the variable I will only queue the variable name. Okay. 
it's been deployed so now i will hit it once again and you can see still the name has been printed so you don't have to necessarily provide the variable as session variable or flow variable because uh, i'll go back to the slide to explain this so what mule does is so if we so so if you want to access a variable you can just provide the variable name directly so mule will first check the list of flow variables if it there is any variable by the name that we have provided if not then again it goes to the session variable so first it goes to the flow variable and next it goes to the session variable and if it is not able to find the variable name in both the places then it fails with an error so just to demonstrate this i will have another one uh, uh, flow variable okay let's call this variable as uh, age flow variable okay and now i will set this to and let us call it as age and i'll set this to 28 okay let's save this next i'll have a flow variable as well sorry a session variable and i will give the same name that i have used for the uh, flow variable so let me change this as well a session variable and i will give the value as 90 so if you see this the name of the session variable is also age and name of this flow variable is also age okay so in the first logger as usual you can print the name which will be karthi and in this variable let us ask to print age so i have not provided it as either uh, uh, flow variable dot age or session variable dot age i will have provided just age so in this flow variable age we have value as 28 and the session variable we have the value as 90 so as mule first checks the flow variable our result should only print 28 and not 90 so that is the expectation so let me run the application again okay so i'll hit it go to the console you can see that we have got the age as 28 and not 90 so this is how uh, the auto resolution of uh, variables work and uh, in case if you think that you don't want to have this option what you can do is you can just have this piece of code which says expression language auto resolution sorry auto resolve variables equal to false if you have this in your uh, configuration file you can have it anywhere you can have it over here and if you run this application it's already running okay so now uh, we have uh, disabled the auto resolve of variables so i i can't uh, actually access this access this or any variable by sorry over here uh, any variable by giving only the variable name i should prefix it by the type whether it's a flow variable or session variable so let me do that for you so now i'll put it as a uh, flow var dot h okay so just just so now it would now it will work actually now if i hit it it will work and it will provide me the age but if i am providing only the variable name without the prefix and i have this configuration as false as well so let's see how it behaves now so it says the execution of expression age failed because we have set the auto resolve variables equal to false so that's why it fails so if you go up you can see 
we could have got the name alone printed but not the age see we have karthik but uh, not the age so this is how mule expression language works uh, so thanks for watching this video i will showcase some more examples on how to use mule expression language in my next video thank you